twice the price. And you know what? They look like they're the same thing. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. Hey, kids. How you doing? Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. And we're going to do a little bit of research. I need to move my tomatoes. I, I've got these Tumbling Tom tomatoes. They're hanging way down off of the plants. They've grown much bigger than I expected them to get. And so I need to get them up high so they have room to hang down. They're tumbling, they hang down. I had hooks up here to hang them, and I can get one or two up high enough, but the rest of them I, I couldn't. So I bought some sawhorse legs uh, to put up to make ready sawhorse. Problem is, I went to Harbor Freight, because I got online and they had the best price. They have their sawhorse brackets, a little bracket kit. $3.99 at Harbor Freight. I, but they only had one. They only had one. So I had to go to Lowe's and I bought the Lowe's brand that they had. But these were $7.99, not $3.99. Twice the price. And you know what? They look like they're the same thing. So let's go ahead and just unbox these and take a little look. These are the uh, Lowe's brand. Looks like Harbor Freight taped these kind of into their box. I did that because the other day when I went there and looked at them, the box was falling apart. Anyhow, these are the ones from uh, Harbor Freight. And you know what? Aside from the finish on them, they appear to be identical almost to the extent that they're from the same stamping. They're the same width, length, height. You got the same teeth in here to grab the top two by four. The whole size for putting screws or nails into them is a little bit different between them. That and the finish. The ones from uh, uh, Harbor Freight are painted black and the ones from Lowe's seem to have some sort of galvanized finish on them. <clears throat> So the question becomes, why is Lowe's asking $7.99 when Harbor Freight sells them for $3.99? So I thought, well, you know, maybe there's something different in the quality besides the color and the paint. So I'm feeling the thickness of the material. And to be honest with you, the ones from Harbor Freight, and, and I'm, this is not a paid advertisement, the ones from Harbor Freight actually feel like a thicker metal. They feel like they're a little heavier. So I got out the digital scale. I'm going to help have you zoom in with me and we're going to weigh them. Let's get right down in here and zoom in on the scale so you guys can see this right with me. It's just I'm going to focus you guys. I have autofocus on. Yes. Autofocus. There we go. Autofocus is on. All right. So we're going to turn this on. Okay, this is the uh, Harbor Freight Harbor Freight one. We have 14.3 ounces. And this is the one from Lowe's. 9.9. .9. Okay. $8. 9.9 ounces. $4. 14.3 ounces. 9.9 .9 ounces, 14.3 ounces. So obviously there's a big difference in the in the weight of the material. Now, it could be the type of material used is one is better than the other. I don't know. They both appear to be made out of steel. The ones from Lowe's do seem thinner than the one from Harbor Freight. The ones from Lowe's have a galvanized finish. They say this is a galvanized finish. Harbor Freight seems to be painted. On the surface, without them aging or using them or stalling them, to be honest with you, the Harbor Freight seems like they're better made. I'm looking at everything, including the quality of the rivets used in here. And, and let me preface this by saying, and I, and I know I just did a video the other day uh, where I, I did a review of the Harbor Freight's uh, electric chainsaw. Um, 
I'm not a big fan of Harbor Freight. I, I've never been a big fan of Harbor Freight. I've always thought of them as having cheap tools. And, and that chainsaw that I bought from them, $49 for an electric chainsaw, you know, it's fine for cleaning up around the yard or something, but I wouldn't want to count on that to bring in my winter's uh, firewood supply if I'm heating my house with firewood. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan, generally speaking, of Harbor Freight and the quality of their tools. And that chainsaw sort of begged that out. But I gotta admit, this bracket appears to be superior to this bracket. Um, all the dimensions, all the dimensions seem to be identical between them. Except, except for the diameter of the holes, see the holes here on the side, except for the diameter of holes to put screws in. The ones from Lowe's seem like they've got bigger holes. The ones from Harbor Freight seem awful small. In fact, I may have to drill these out and make them a little larger. And if I do, then I'm obviously interfering with the paint finish on them and will accelerate these to rust down the road, I'm sure. Uh, because right now there's paint in those holes and there won't be if I drill it out. So, And yeah, we're going to go out and install them. We'll see how they do. Good morning, ducks. <clears throat> How's the duckies this morning, huh? What are you doing, Lily? Why'd you chase the ducks off? Oh. oh, my one great big tomato in there, it's finally starting to get red. These guys, it's supposed to turn yellow, but I don't think they're quite yellow yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm wanting them to get yellower. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <clears throat> we got tomatoes getting ripe here, tumbling toms. I'm going to get this all reconfigured today. These have gotten just insane. They got too crazy. Too crazy. Out of control. Strawberries are coming along pretty good. Gosh, they're super sweet. Been enjoying them. Got to clean up some paper and plastic here. Ducks found. <coughs> Corn's already getting some tassels looking stuff on it already. Beans are coming up. I got some peas in there. I got a weed. I got to get the hoe in here and clean some of this up. Seen a channel that I have a lot of respect for. He's got a little patch of sweet corn that he's got uh, planted. He just did a video the other day and he was spraying stuff in there. He had a tank sprayer. He was spraying his corn. So I asked him in the comments what he was spraying. He said, Roundup. Oh my God. Apparently he's clueless as to the multi-billion dollar lawsuit that uh, Monsanto just lost as a result of uh, people getting sick and poisoned by Roundup. Company is unbelievable that they continue to sell that product. <clears throat> and what I find really offensive now is now that people know that this product is bad for everybody, Walmart's still selling it, and Lowe's and Home Depot still sell it, farmers are still putting it out on their fields. <clears throat> you know what's going to happen is these lawyers are going to start holding these big box stores responsible and they're going to start suing some of these farmers. Farmers are going to start getting sued for knowingly poisoning the food because they know that Roundup now causes cancer and other issues. They're just going to get in a lot of trouble. Some farms are going to go out of business as a result of it just because of irresponsible farming practices. There's other things they could do. Just not as cost effective. Well, I got a lot of blossoms and stuff coming on down there. My potatoes in here are just overgrown, being choked out by these crazy squash plants, who, as you can see, have just gotten to be insane in here. Well, let me get to my feeding. Alrighty then. Oh, here they 
they come. Morning, duckies. Why do you guys keep finding all this plastic stuff? <clears throat> no doubt underneath the deck, huh? Dan and Larry had stuff fall through the wood cracks back there, and of course, in their physical condition, they weren't able to go back there and do anything about it. There you go, morning shower. Morning shower, you guys like that? You guys are some happy ducks, aren't you? Hey, get out of here. You guys are eating me out of house and home here. Water, are you?
You guys go ahead and enjoy your breakfast. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build some sawhorses and uh, we're going to keep this real simple. We're just going to cut some eight foot long two by fours in half and that'll make us with uh, legs will be about that tall. Put a sawhorse up about here which will give these tumbling tom tomatoes plenty of height because as you can see now they're down there on the ground. Even on those short saw horses I had them on, they're on the ground. So, so we're going to go ahead and move them up and put them up higher. So let's go ahead and get this measured and cut. I noticed a lot of these YouTube channels doing carpentry and construction and stuff. And uh, I'm amazed at how many of them don't seem to have, well, experience, I guess just experience but they're trying I mean they're doing a great job they're they're doing with what they can and they're learning and stuff along the way but and of course you know poor people have poor ways when you don't have much money you got to do with what you got to do with so as an example I would ideally like to put this on a chop saw or uh, put this on a uh, you know circular saw or chop saw saws all anything that would give me a nice perfect straight line but I don't have that ability because I don't have the tools right now so I'm using my Sawzall. And there you go. In this case, my hydroponic table makes for a perfect little work table for me. I guess I'm putting it to some good use since I'm not doing hydroponics right now, which is a whole other story. Anyhow. Right. 
here's one. So here's what we do. We use these, uh, these are the brackets that we got. These are the ones from uh, Harbor Freight. And see, this just simply should simply let the 2x4 slide right up in there, just like that. And we put the other 2x4, put it in on the other side. They just slide right into these brackets. Now, I should come back, and I will come back eventually, just not right now, and put some screws in there. But see how this has got like teeth up here on the top? So what we do with that is we take our other board, which is this one here, and it's simply going to sit in there like that. And then those are going to put tension and dig into that just like that. You see that bracket kind of bent a little bit because I put a lot of tension on it. <clears throat> now I can put a big screw in there, pull back together. But these nail holes here on the side are a little small. See, I kind of bent that bracket out. No, not the strongest bracket in the world. All right. Now let's put together the other side. See if we can't stand this up. Is that going right in there? Yeah, that's going on. There's that. That's going to go there. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. And no, we're not cutting these perfectly. I know that. Again, I wouldn't be using this tool if I had the money to buy something else right now, but I do not. So as they say, poor people have poor ways. <laughs> See how these brackets mount on. Now see that just fell right into that. That seemed like it just slid in there a whole lot easier than the uh, other one. Huh. Well, those are certainly up higher. Right now the wind may blow them over. I gotta get some screws to support those legs better. Right now there's nothing stopping them from just flopping over. So. Guess I gotta go to Lowe's. More for you later, kids. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in Zay mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.